hello, hello, I'm back after a little while. Um, just going to make a little, um, it's not an ATC size, probably about a 4 by 6 or so, just on watercolour paper. Um, I've done an original one of these and I wanted to do another one, so there was two in the series. So they are slightly different in that the I'm using Kinder Creations um, chipboard and the wings are actually different. Um, just slightly different shapes, but both of them are pretty awesome. So I'm just laying down some liquid text gel medium and then just with some book text adding that over the top. Just randomly, I'm not I'm not thinking too much, which is probably pretty usual for me. Although I am trying to remember what I did in the first step because I did try to film it and I don't know what happened. It didn't film the last couple minutes. But anyway, and I'm sorry that it's out of frame at the moment. Um, I do actually fix it. So then I added some gesso over the top, just really quickly. Um, and then I've stitched around the outside and now I'm just applying some masking tape. Just not, not the strips, like the full strips I suppose you could say. Actually, no, I didn't add the gesso. Now I'm adding the gesso. What am I doing? Anyway, back to <laughs> what's going on here. Um, just the little strips of masking tape. Now I've got the gesso out, and then I'm just with the squeegee thingy scraping it around, so you can still sort of sort of see the words, like the writing, but you sort of can't at the same time. I'm making no sense. I'm so sorry. Anyway, so I've got some. Deco Art Media Antiquing Cream and then I've got one of the Tim Holtz Oxide Sprays so it's I think it's spruce aged spruce something spruce I'll <laughs> have a proper description in the comments anyway added some water um, just with the, the spray bottle and it didn't sort of work the way I wanted it to and then I've added um, like with the brush and now I've sprayed some more now I do do a comparison at the end with the two, so the one that I'm doing now and the original one. On the original one I didn't use the um, oxide ink, so it was just straight black. Um, so then now I've got a, it's a Dina Wakely Media stamp set on a tea bag with some oxide inks um, and then I have some, it's an antique white I think it is embossing powder um, heated that up and then I found on the first one that I actually had to stamp the image on a piece of card and then add the tea bag because otherwise it doesn't stand um, stand out so that's all I've done just with some um, stays on and then yeah I'm not um, particularly precise when I'm cutting it out so then just with some um, gel medium again, so you can see I'm just laying, layering, layering it down. Oh my goodness me. Sorry, I don't know what's happening with my words today. Anyway, so, <laughs> um, and then these are the wings, chipboard wings. So just some gesso going around them, um, making sure I get in the wing bits. And what you call them, the creasy bits in the wings. Again, just embossing them. So I've just got one of the embossing stampy thingies, stamp pads. <laughs> um, and again, with the same, with um, the same embossing powder that I used on the stamped image. So just hitting the wings up now. And I'm sorry, you can hear my dog just whinging in the background because apparently it's not even close to dinner time, but he's constantly starving, so he thinks it is. So I'm talking, so he thinks he needs to be fed. So just to glue the wings down, one of them I actually didn't need to glue down because the background was still wet. Anyway, um, applying the little person there. And you know what? I'm, it was pretty close to being done. I know, right? So I just got some, another stamp pad. Um, I think it's the Ex Ground Espresso one. So I've just put it on my little mat there and put some water on it and then stamped, basically pressed it over it. So wherever it went, it went. And then I made sure the body was full. So there we go. That's it. I know, right? Oh, then I did some little flicks of black at the end. I think. But there, there we go. 
Okay, so I'm back and I'll be doing some more videos. I'm on break now from uni, so thank you so very much. Please like, comment and subscribe.